So I learned Python. Okay, so before we get into the video, I will show you some of my knowledge about Python as well as my research on how to use language. So based on what I know, Python is a programming language that is very English. What I mean is that it is designed to be very understandable to English speaker, which makes it easier to use. Also, another thing that makes it very easy to use is that it is a high-level language, which basically makes it more human-readable. Well, this also means that it is less readable for computers, but come on, who cares? Now, the most beneficial thing that Python offers you is its huge library. This is the thing I like the most about Python because, well, imagine you don't need to even program anything and just use the function for it. However, there's one thing, one thing that makes Python, in my opinion, a trash language. There it is, this error. Maybe it is normal for you, but as a person who code in one line, this is a nightmare and totally unacceptable. Python also offers you a very simple variable system. You could basically use a variable for basically every type. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's make Python easier or harder. Look, even only this one variable can represent a list. Okay, so that's basically what I know about Python. Of course, I need to know more about it before I could use it. And because the internet is an unreliable resource, I've downloaded some documents exported from the Soviet Union where they have one of the highest quality education. Python, блядь! Okay, если есть какой-то лист, и ты хочешь сделать сорт, сорт лист, есть два способа, two ways, сука, блядь, как это сделать? Первый, это лист сорт метод, вот так вот, блядь. Делаешь лист сорт, бим-бим, бам-бам, найс. Если хочешь сделать наоборот, пишешь reverse true, блядь, reverse true, что один, два, три, четыре, Okay, so that's enough of studying. Now let's practice. Okay, so this is the first problem we'll be doing. Basically, we'll have an array and a target number. We need to choose two different values in the array that adds up to the number. Now you know, because Python is a very, very fast language, I will code this whole problem using a very efficient method. It is brute force attacking. Bruh. Invalid syntax. Where are you pointing at? Well, I didn't know that Python also have the double syntax rule of other languages like C Sharp and C++. Huh, weird. Wait a minute, this is just the console. Well, I didn't know you can actually return values in Python. I thought like every def function is like void. Nice. See, I told you, Python is very fast. Look, I was further to the right than this average coder. Amateurs. Okay, so let's get to the next exercise. This one is my favorite coding exercise because it is very simple. Just plain old convert Roman numerals to our everyday numbers. And this promotes the use of string, which is a data type that stores information of text and characters. Now, I'm probably now familiar with the Python syntax but I haven't got familiar with what you can do with the strings. And as I remember, there are a lot of functions you can do with it. So now I'll do some more research on it. No thanks. Now to code this problem, we just need some simple conditional logic in order to make it work. At least it is for non-special cases. For special cases like the number 4, or any number that has a subtracting mechanic, we simply check for a smaller value before the letter we are examining, and if it exists, we will subtract the output number by the value of that symbol twice. There we go. Wait a minute. Well, this is over average, and this is 23 ms. Wait a minute, I have to take a look at my C++ code. Wow, look, Python is really fast. 
Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want more content like this, please consider subscribing. That would help me a lot. Also, this is my most recent video. You can watch it if it looks like a clickbait.